Okay. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Excellent. Okay, very good to hear. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, today we're going to be talking about solving two-step equations. So I thought that we'd start off by solving this equation. I'll go step by step and then we'll go from there. So let me turn on the annotate tool. So I'm going to first identify the like terms. So we have our ones with variables and then we have the other ones which are constants or they're also known as just the ones with numbers. So I'm gonna circle the variable in one color and then the constants in another. So the goal is to get the variables on one side and the numbers on the other. So we see here that we have an addition sign. So that means that we're gonna do the opposite, which is subtraction. And the opposite of multiplication is division and vice versa. So that's gonna be important later. So here we're going to do minus five and what you do to one side, you have to do to the other as well. So we have two X equals uh, 16. And then the next step that we're going to do is divide by two since we see multiplication and the opposite of division. And then the answer is x equals eight. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay, so that's a good first problem. And you can see the directions in the corner if you need help with that. Then we're going to do this one, which is slightly similar, but it uses uh, division instead of multiplication if you see it in the problem, but we'll actually be using multiplication to reverse this. So I'm gonna first circle the variables and the numbers. So in one color, we did the numbers and another, we did the variable. So we're going to subtract four from each side. And then we get X over eight equals negative one. And then since we see division, we're going to do uh, multiplication so times eight, that cancels out, and times eight, and then we get x equals negative eight. Okay, are we all good on that? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so now I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes to work on these problems, and then we'll check back and make sure that everyone got them right, and we'll go through them. Okay. So. The first person I'm gonna call on is Tim for the first one. What is the answer for X? Um, let's see, X is six. Very good. Okay, what about Dana for the second one? Okay, I got X equals 21. Very good. Okay, seems like we're doing pretty good. The last one is a bonus because it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so I'll call on Grant for this one. What do you think it is? Is it X equals five? That uh, negative is correct. Five. What? Negative five, sorry, I think it's negative five. Okay, so you were right the first time, it's five, but I can see how you might've gotten a little bit confused. So I'm just gonna write it out this one just to make sure that everyone gets it. So we have negative three X minus two equals negative 17. And so this one involves negatives and that's why it makes it a little bit more challenging. So first we're going to add the two since we have a negative instead of a positive here. And then we have negative three X equals negative 15. And then we're going to divide by negative three. And since we have a negative and a positive which makes a negative, we're left with a positive number. So the answer is going to be X equals five, which is what you first said, and that was correct. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. Okay, perfect. So now that we've gone through a little bit how to do two-step equations, we're going to do the two-step equation song that I made up. So um, to give a little bit of background on it, it's I can't understand doorbells, and it's the mnemonic device ICUD. And you just kind of have to imagine an old person saying that they can't understand the doorbells because they're no longer just buttons. They involve cameras now and they're a little bit more complicated. It's kind of silly, but we're just gonna go through it. So sing it with me. Isolate the variable, isolate, isolate the, variable. the variable. Combine, Combine like, like terms. terms. Combine, Combine like terms. Use subtraction or addition, subtraction or, or, addition. Addition. or addition, divide. Or multiply, divide, or, or multiply, divide, 
not the pie. Okay, very good. So I hope that this helped you understand two-step equation songs and helps you remember. And next time we'll build on this lesson to solve more challenging things. And I'll see you all next class.